Deb. Hello, and it's Jason. All right. Okay, when we start the diet or the protocol, we we drink three shakes a day, right? Three of the MRP shakes, yes. Okay, and so we have the di two different flavors of the MRP powder, chocolate and vanilla. Right. What if I get sick of chocolate and vanilla? Well, you know, we made just two flavors. This one's chocolate for a reason. Uh, not because we were starting out, we could only financially make two flavors, but it was actually by design. We want you to have, we don't want you to be burdened with having a whole cupboard full of different flavors and then the cost and then the space that it takes up. So instead what we've done is we've created extracts for you. So this one happens to be chocolate fudge, this one is mango, and we have over 50 of these different flavors. The idea is, is that you take chocolate fudge with chocolate, make it even more chocolatey, or you take the mango and mix it with the vanilla, now you've got a different flavor. So taking that combination with the chocolate and the vanilla, the 53 flavors, you've got, you have Tons well over variety. 500 different flavors that you can have. This morning I had pumpkin cinnamon with the vanilla. Ooh, that was delicious. Good. One of my favorites is uh, apple caramel cinnamon. Tastes like a caramel apple. And you'll find that you'll have your own flavors. You'll also notice that a lot of people say, I use the flavors a lot in the beginning of the protocol, but then I use it less later on. And that's also because of what's happening by design, but because of what's happening in your body. Some of you may experience that it doesn't taste as good as you were hoping that very first day or week. Because you're so used to like sugars and stuff like that. Your palate is going Flavors. to be we're used to a lot sweeter sensation. And we want to cleanse that. So part of the process of rebuilding your body, your pancreas, is by also stripping the the cravings and those artificial flavors that we've been getting, the preservatives, which has an effect to our palate. It's kind of like the experience that a smoker has. A smoker that goes and eats food and then quits smoking and then eats that same food notices an enhancement. They really pick out a lot more flavor in their food. Smoking is not the only thing that will cover up, will mask our ability to taste things. Artificial sweeteners. Just sugar itself will do that. And that's like in everything. And it's in everything. So you'll notice that the shakes will taste better as you get further into the protocol. One, because your body's craving it, because it's so healthy. And two, because we've stripped away all that bad stuff and you're able to taste the shake for what it is. And so if it's not very palatable for you right at the beginning, flavor it up with the, the extracts some of the hood milk and the uh, unsweetened almond milk and uh, they're delicious. I, I promise you if you don't like, I've, I've done this challenge before and no one's been able to uh, uh, collect the prize, but if uh, I can promise you that if you say that you just can't stomach the shake, which doesn't happen very often, come in, I'll mix you up a shake and I can guarantee I'll find one that you absolutely love because of just the extracts that we have. Very yummy. If you have a little trouble, uh, don't go all week long. Uh, if it's, you're just barely starting, uh, call your coach. He has the recipes and recommendations. I promise you, we have wonderful flavors that you'll love. Just talk to your mix coach. And match and yum. Just talk to your coach, and he'll he or she will help you out. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.